uh, one more time the image of a uh, Porti. XTI. Yeah, XTI, yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's, I mean, working with... I, I'm looking at you, okay. Um, yeah, no, it's good. I mean, obviously working with Irina Shaik, she's the main image of the brand. It's, like, really cool to work with her. It's, like, a really good... I mean, they told me it's, like, one of the biggest Spanish brands. I mean, the shoes are cool. It's not like I'm wearing something that I probably wouldn't wear myself, so... Yeah, it's nice. And you're reaching a career in modeling? And in playing soccer, which is uh, football. Yeah, I mean, I st uh, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I stopped playing football around a year ago. That's why I went into modeling because I had a very bad injury. I mean, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be doing modeling. So I'm kind of grateful. Where, where was your injury? <laughs> a lot of people keep asking me about my knee, but it was nothing to do with my knee. It was I did both my uh, groin areas. Yeah. So I had surgery on it, and then groin. Yeah, yeah, like hernia, yeah. you know. Um, ah. So I did both hernias, I had an operation, and after that, I mean, I was like one or two seconds slower. It was just really hard to get motivation to, to continue playing, so. And uh, are, you, are you better now? Yeah, I mean, I can, pl I can play with my friends, but I mean, it's not something that I can play professionally still, because the problem is, is obviously, I still have the problem niggling away, so it's. And how was the experience of uh, and trying to switch uh, football with uh, modeling? I mean, How was it's not like football from 20 years ago where it'd be a lot more difficult, you know, like, I mean, foot, like playing football is, it has its own aspects of fashion as well. So I had my own style in football. I had, my, do you know what I mean? I always looked after myself. So a lot of the football players are like fashionable. So, I mean, it's not very hard to change over. The only problem is, is obviously having to explain to your, all your friends that, you're transferring into a different world. So like, instead of hanging out with other guys who play football, or in my case, I was hanging out with other guys who tattoo and etc. I now started to hang out with like photographers, stylists. So yeah, that was probably the hardest change, you know, changing friends. So, well, not changing friends, I mean, mixing the two friends together, you know. What experiences are you living right now? I'm living, like, I mean, experiences. I mean, I'm living a nice life at the moment. I mean, I'm traveling two, three times a week. Um, I just came back, I did um, Calvin Klein fragrance. I just did CK1 fragrance in New York, which was an amazing experience. Um, I'm getting, yeah, obviously I'm meeting a really, really like inspirational people. Like, I mean, with Irina as well. She's like a really super cool girl. So, yes. Yeah, and uh, what image do the, both, do the both of you, including yeah. you and Irina, Try to transmit. I think it's, I think, I mean, like, both of us are, like, young sort of looking. I mean, for myself, I'm, I think, like, it's more of an edgy look. I mean, Irina's, like, naturally so beautiful. So, I mean, it's, I think it's kind of like a, it's kind of like Beauty and the Beast for me anyway. I feel like I'm, do you know what I mean? So I just feel like it's a mixture of both, which is really cool because you're not getting, like, two Two ex like you know what I mean two extremely pretty people I mean you've got like a bit like someone with rough edges which is myself and then you have Irina who's just unbelievably beautiful so but with the beauty of uh, Irina yeah. and the aggressive look that yeah. you it's, it's kind of yeah I I think it works kind of shocking no yeah I think it's uh, for me I think it works well because when I see the photos I think uh, in the moment I'm like is this gonna work because at times you think, is this realistic? But then, I mean, it does work in the photos because we work really well together. I mean, it's so easy to work with her. So, I mean, yeah, for me, I think the photos came out amazing this time and last time they came out really well. So, yeah, it's and, good. And for the, for, what, what do you have in mind for the future? Um, what is your future? I don't know, you, I mean. What do you think about the future, the energy? What, what do you think? Um, I think right now I'm like, I have quite a few things coming up. I have like, I'm working really well with like brands like Philip Klein with Diesel. I have like my clients, which I'm working, which I'm working well with like right now. Okay. I mean, obviously in Spain, XTI is a big client for me. So I work with them a well. And I mean, yeah, I mean like I've worked, I'm working with Inditex a few times with Pull and Bear with Bershka. But like mainly for me is just to be traveling between London and New York and I like to come to Spain, I like to come to Madrid, to Barcelona, because <laughs> no, for me, it's a really amazing city. The people are like, for me, like, it's my favorite place to come, you know? 
I mean, I always have fun. Like half my friends live in Madrid. And then, I mean, I have, I have friends in Barcelona, but I mean, Barcelona is more of a party tourist city. So you yeah. make new friends every week, but then they go because, do you know what I mean? It's like a city which is, it's a tourist city. The people come and go within a week, so. And uh, a sneaky question, eh? Yeah. Can you give us a sneak peek of your next project that you're gonna have? My next project, um, I mean, I think I've kind of just told you, which is like, which is the bad thing. I think, <laughs> um, yeah, I have like Calvin Klein fragrance coming out, which is like when you do a fragrance, it's amazing. So I have like a really massive project with that. It was like we shot in upstate New York. Um, I mean, it was a, a lot of amazing people doing the doing the campaign. I mean, I probably can't say the names, but I mean, it was really cool. I mean, and. It's different to a normal campaign because it was shot on an iPhone, so yeah. it's, I mean, that's the main thing that's coming out right now. I probably should have just said that, yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's... And tell us, uh, are, you, are you full of energy? Are you happy inside? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy inside. I mean, like, I have my bad days. I have, like, I mean, it's... Like yeah, of course, yeah. everyone has their bad days, you know? I mean, but I find that in fashion, I'm constantly on, like, a middle ground in where I'm never too happy, never too low. Whereas in football, I was very emotional because I was, I'd have a bad game, I would be depressed, and then I would have a very good game, and I'd be on top of the world. Whereas in fashion, you book a campaign, you're happy, but it's not like, it's it's not something which is you feel like. I mean, for me, I don't feel like I've gone out and gone and earned it to that degree. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas with football, I felt like I worked five days in the week to for the game on Saturday, so. No, I'm happy. I mean, I'm just like, I mean, I'm provi like I'm providing for my family, so it's really well. Like, I'm happy that they're happy, and yeah, that's good. And tell us, uh, what what team did you play for? I mean, when I was playing, in, I was playing in London, and then I went to my father's from Scotland, so I played for the national team there. I played under eighteen, under nineteen, under twenty, under twenty one. I got to this stage where I was one year away from like playing for the full national team, yeah. so I made him proud. I mean. In London, I was with a team called Queens Park Rangers. I was with a lot of teams. I mean, I've I've travelled a lot. I was playing football in Toronto for six months, in with Toronto, yeah, in the MLS, and then I was in Cyprus, Chipre. Uh, <laughs> I was in Greece. I was kind of. I mean, since sixteen, I left home. Um, I grew up really fast, so yeah. I mean, I'm I'm happy. I experienced like a really highs in football. I mean, playing for my national team in football was something which like, you can't buy, you can't do anything. And then I was doing stuff in modeling, like for example, CK1 and stuff with Irina, you can't buy it as well. So I'm, I'm kind of happy, you know. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about your experience in CK1? Yeah, it was, I mean, the photographer was Mario, the photographer was Mario Sorrenti. Um, I mean, he gave me an iPhone and he basically just said, shoot your own campaign. So. It was kind of a weird experience because you've got such a big budget, you've got like such a big project, and they're coming with a new concept of, here's an iPhone, you need to take a selfie, and that's gonna be the new campaign worldwide. So yeah. you're gonna see a selfie of me in New York soon, but no, it's nice, I mean, yeah. And how, how old are you, by the way? I'm 23 at the moment, 23. yeah. So.